Hi, this is Alka, and welcome back to my channel. Well, apparently uh, CNN has not learned its lesson, and uh, it got sued again for uh, defaming somebody. This time it's Project Veritas. You know, the organization that James O'Keefe came up with uh, a while back before they unceremoniously um, fired him. Anyway, uh, this is from Fox News. Brian Flood says CNN faces another defamation lawsuit after appeal court side with Project Veritas. See what happened here. So CNN faced another defamation lawsuit after a federal appeal court re revealed or revised a 2021 complaint that the cable news network may have defamed Project Veritas with actual malice. The 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in the Northern District of Georgia ruled Thursday that Project Veritas recently alleged a defamation claim that one former CNN anchor Ann Cabrera suggested on the air in 2021 that Project Veritas was banned from Twitter for promoting misinformation. So Project Veritas, a controversial undercover journalism organization, Verney disagree with Cabrera's characterization and demand correction, arguing that Twitter actually banned Project Veritas for violating Twitter's publication of private information or doxing policy. Project Veritas sued for definition when, when CNN refused to issue a retraction. The district court initially granted CNN's motion to dismiss, but... Project Veritas appealed, and the court reversed its decision after a lengthy process. Well, at the careful review, and with the benefits of oral arguments, we conclude that Veritas' plausible alleged defamation claim under New York law. And although the district court did not reach a issue, we also hold that Veritas plausibly alleged that the statements were published with actual malice, an additional requirement imposed by the First Amendment in a definition lawsuit involving public figures, the court ruled. Accordingly, we reversed the district's court decisions and remain for further processing. The court continued. Cabrera who is now with MSNBC, returned to the air four days after she was told CNN viewers that Project Veritas was banned from Twitter for promoting misinformation, but public, pop, oh no, plotted to a completely different reason behind the ban, according to the court. The court ruled it is plausible that the reputation harm that raised from Carabara on air statements had a different effect on the minds of the audience from which the pleaded truth that Veritas published a private house number in an unidentified city on a identified street would have been produced. We conclude at least that the motion to dismiss stage Veritas possible argument that the implication of raising from Cabrera's statement was not substantially true and therefore were actions about under New York defamation law. We hold that Veritas possible Alec alleged that the statements were false and were published with actual malice. According the the uh, district court era in granting CNN motion to dismiss under Rule 12b-6 we reverse the decision of the district court and remand for the proceeding consistently with this decision that the court ruled. So Circuit Court Judge Ed Carnes added the conclusion, though, if you stay on the bench long enough, you see a lot of things. Still, I never thought I would see a major news organization 
downplay the importance of telling the truth to on his broadcast. But this is what CNN done in this case. Of course, uh, Project Veritas took this X to celebrate his victory and says, quote, Breaking news. Fake news CNN must answer to its for its defamation against Project Veritas. The 11th Circuit Court just handed down an amazing victory in Veritas versus CNN case. So in 2021, Anna Cabrera accused Project Veritas of promoting misinformation on Twitter. That was a lie. So, CNN did not immediately respond to a request for comment. CNN is also facing a high state defamation lawsuit from a U.S. Navy veteran who alleged that CNN smeared him by implying he illegally profit when he was helping people flee Afghanistan during the Biden administration military withdrawal from the country in 2021. A civil trial in that case is scheduled to begin on January 6th in front of Judge Harry in the Circuit Court for Bay County, Florida. Yeah, looks like CNN is having a, a hell of a time now. Well, you know, now they got these lawsuits. And, of course, they have the major defeat of Kamara Harris. And their future doesn't look bright to them because uh, January 20, Trump is coming back to the White House. And uh, I guess CNN might be banned. Who knows? So this is I can't say so long for now. Don't forget to stop.